Joey. Yeah. You're up here with me right now. I am. Because you went and saw a little game. I did see a few. What games. was it called? Oh, you're putting me on the spot for this. The marvelous adventure. No adventure. There's no. No amazing adventure. Michelle, what's your game called? <laughs> Everyone. Well. From Don't Not Entertainment, Michelle. Yay. Get over here. I haven't seen you in a duck stage. How Thanks. are you? I'm good. How are you? Great. Hi. I'll tell you, we are, we agree. The name's too long. Uh, it's too long. You got what? It's Captain it's, Awesome. What is this, What's the? No, word? it's 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 a name by a kid, so it's normal. It's long. It's the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. Captain it's Spirit. Easy. <laughs> I was gonna get there eventually. Yeah. And you played it, Joey. What did you think? I no so pressure because he's here. It, I'm very excited to see how this all ties together. I like that we're seeing a different take on the Life is Strange kind of format, um, seeing different characters, seeing how we integrate superheroes into this and like more, instead of the like high school experience, it's more of like the kid experience and the imagination and stuff that comes from it. Very excited about this. Cool, thank you. Um, so yeah, definitely it's a, it's a full adventure. So even if it's a Life is, if it's set in the Life is Strange universe, it's it's really a whole experience. So you can definitely play Captain Spirit if you didn't play Life is Strange, or if you don't plan to play Life is Strange too, because yes, um, it takes place in the same setting and universe of the upcoming Life is Strange too. So this is happening not in the same town necessarily, not but the same world, <laughs> the same world as Life is Strange too. Exactly. So. Um, um, for example, when you play Captain Spirit, you will discover some clues, some hints to what Life is Strange 2 will be, so maybe some hints to the characters of Life is Strange 2. Um, but we really also wanted to have this experience as a whole, so it's really a full story that takes around a couple of hours, two hours, or a bit more to, to experience, but it has a lot of replay value. You can definitely, you cannot see everything in one playthrough. Okay. So there is a lot of secrets hidden and based on how you decide to spend your time as, as Chris, um, you will d uncover different parts of the story. So are you terrified of everyone putting together what Life is Strange 2 is about? Your fans obsessive. Yeah. They're going <laughs> to go through and try to pick this apart and find everything. Um, no, we, we, we're not terrified because, of course, obviously, the, the things we did put in Captain Spirit, we want them to, to find them out. Okay, okay. It, it, won't give a, it, won't, it won't give away everything. Um, just to explain a bit more um, what is Captain Spirit, so you play as Chris, um, an almost 10 years old little kid who is quite lonely, and I, he has a really vivid imagination. And it's a Saturday morning, and basically it's some sort of um, narrative sandbox where you can decide a bit of wha what you want to do with your free morning. Um, this is a theme that was really interesting for us to maybe go back in our childhood when we had time to do stuff. Yeah. Things we cannot, we don't have time anymore. I mean, I guess you don't have a lot of time. No. And uh, when you're a kid, sometimes you're, you're bored and you have free time and you, what do I do with my free time? So what, what do you do? You use your imagination to create great adventures. And sometimes those adventures, you create them maybe to escape a reality, maybe to escape some dark uh, truths in your life. So this is basically how Captain Spirit uh, has been created. It's with the power of imagination, you can maybe get away from some of the difficulties you have in your life. And when the player will play as being Captain, Captain Spirit, will use Captain Spirit's powers and sometimes go into his imaginary world, it will be also a way for the player to know more about Chris, about his dad, about what happened to the family. And while pretending to be a superhero, you will be also discovering the truth about the story of those characters. Why was this an important story for you guys to tell? Why have this interstitial between yeah. Life is Strange and Life is Strange 2? Um, over the past two years, we've been working hard on Life is Strange 2. And we will talk about it in, a, in the coming months. So we have a bigger story. Uh, different sets of characters and Chris was one of the characters we created uh, while creating Life is Strange 2 and we thought that he did, he, did, he did deserve his own side story because for us it was really interesting to talk about what it is to the nostalgia of being a kid, what, what it was to be a kid and uh, you know in Life is Strange we really like to talk about um, relatable characters uh, dealing with, um, with some real life issues. And we did approach a lot of those in the first Life is Strange. But 
when you're a kid, almost 10 years old, is the age where you're starting to also understand a lot of the reality around you. And that's when you s stop somehow the, uh, the, uh, the age where you're pretending everything and you start to reason more and understand the reality. So we thought that it was a really interesting theme to talk about this father-son relationship and how Chris, with his the power of his imagination, is sometimes trying to hide some reality around him. Interesting. I don't, so know, I don't know if it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> it, no, it makes sense to me. But I've had enough of your PR gobbledygook. Joey, does it <laughs> yeah. make sense to you? You watched it. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I was bummed that you didn't have time to go see it because I think that this is, as much as you like Life is Strange, oh my love gosh, it, yes. Like, this is even more, I think, in your wheelhouse. And so I'm excited. I'm a little bit excited that you haven't seen anything because sure. you're going in a little bit blind yeah. um, and see what you think. You well, that's what was so important to me. I, yeah, I didn't get to see the demo. Yeah, you, you, you just saw the trailer. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And that's why it was so exciting to me is the fact, of course, Rocksteady, cowards. <laughs> it didn't come. Yes, it's, you're, you can boo them. Boo, or, boo, right? Yeah. Cowards who won't come out with a Superman game. You, you have the balls to do it, Michelle. That's what I like a lot about it. <laughs> Proud of you. It's free, right? Completely. So it's released in two weeks on the 26th of June. Um, it's completely free. It's on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Uh, and again, we are extremely happy that we, we can give this gift um, for free for the players. We think that it's quite rare in the industry. And uh, we thank Square Enix that they allowed us this crazy thing of not making any money uh, yeah. with, with, this, with this game. <laughs> um, but as creators, um, for us, it's really great to be able to have as many players as possible sure. play our games. And since, to be honest, they're somehow quite different, and maybe sometimes players can, be, can think, what is this? Uh, what is this crazy kid in his room? Uh, why do I want to play that? And you're so show. at least since it's free, they can try it. Maybe they will. <laughs> <hate>. yeah. <laughs> Listen, you didn't cost you anything. Just try it. Yeah, and maybe they won't, they won't like it. but. I'm still saying that some players that don't think they, they will enjoy this kind of genre, yeah. maybe they will. And so maybe they will enjoy the experience, they will fall in love with Chris and, and the other characters, and maybe they will want later to try Life is Strange 2. Yeah. And Life is Strange 2 is coming out when? When we start to talk about I it. Hate <laughs> I hate him. I hate him so. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is Michelle. Come on, don't not entertain Thanks. Thanks. Free game for you coming up. That's right, Tara Bruno.